exactly a play. It's a lot of John Lennon's songs, uh, which in part describe aspects of his life. Everything I'm not anti-God or anti-Christ. I need to be there in between the songs, talking as if I were the thoughts of John Lennon. God is love. It might sound a bit corny, but that's what all the major religions say. That's good enough for me. Love, love, love. So you get bits and pieces and grabs, and you get a collage effect, which overall gives you uh, an idea of the man, the times. I had a guitar in my hands and millions of people buying all our records. So stick that where the sun never shines. And the very deep emotions that were part of his life and his music. A working class hero is something to be. And he represented a big brother figure a to me who, who told me through his words and his songs that it was okay to not have to do what society expected you to do. They say you want a revolution, well, you know. We all want to change the world. That message is never going to date, it's never going to age, and uh, that message comes across to every member of my audiences. And in the end, I found out I wasn't doing it to impress any so-called intellectuals. I was doing it for me. Picture yourself in a boat on a river. Imagine all the people living life in peace. John Lennon would have turned 70 had he lived on, on yeah. October the 9th. And on, this, on December the 8th uh, this year, it's 30 years since he was uh, shot and killed. Yeah.